Drake, Eminem, XXXTentacion, and Kanye West. A motley crew here. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most centrifugal show on the internet. My name is Ryze Zodendra, by my forceful co-host, Graydon. <sighs> Today we're taking a pop quiz, pop short for popularity. This is... Guess, Guess which, which artist, artist has more monthly listeners on Spotify? Genre edition. So for this game, we're gonna get four artists in a similar genre and have to rank them from most monthly listeners to least monthly listeners. One point for each correct placement. Okay. Me versus Graydon versus you. Kevin in West Palm Beach, Florida. You gator-faced loser. Those are the teeth. I see. My yeah. finger is the teeth. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a drop over on Cope's website is on the screen. It's linked in description. Along with our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us or click the join button here on YouTube and become a member. Thank you, members. All right, let's go, calm down. First one, rank these artists by monthly listeners, highest to lowest. We've got Drake, Eminem, XXXTentacion, and Kanye West. A motley crew here. Four of the biggest rappers in the world, numbers wise, on Spotify. And Kanye. <laughs> There's only four of them. It's not like four and Kanye. It's <laughs> yeah, and Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like this graphic because it's kind of like when the haters are talking. What do you mean by that? Drake is listening. X is paying attention. Kanye, very attentive. Eminem, eyes closed, ears plugged. Wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get it now. It's like a meme. <laughs> uh, I think there's a little trick going on here. What do you mean a trick? I guess you'll have to wait and see like the rest of us. Three, two, one. I put Drake, X, Eminem, and then Kanye. I put Drake, M, X, and then Kanye. It is Drake, Eminem, Kanye West, <sighs> and then X. Dang it. Whoa. I like this format. Yeah, it's interesting. It's kind of confusing though. A little bit. Like for a second, I have to think about how many points I got and what I messed up. I got a question for you. Sure. Who is Pontius Pilate? Pontius Pilate, he was like the Roman leader who executed Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why? I don't know. You just knew the name? Yeah, I saw it in a show. They said, fucking Pontius Pilate. They called <laughs> someone it and it felt very cutting. Right. But like, I didn't know. And I'm like scared kind of to ask the whole world who it is. So I thought I'd just ask you in private, being a religious man. Yeah, this is not in private though. Wow. We are filming a video. Yeah, but I mean, they're gonna see it later and whatever. Yeah, sure. It's Pontius Pilate. And by the way, it's spelled like Pilate, not like Pilate. Like he wasn't a pilot. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, that was kind of my follow-up question. I, yeah, I figured yeah. that was where you're gonna go with it. But yeah, yeah it's just spelled like P-I-L-A-T-E. What if I was the Poncho Pilate? And I like flew for Delta Airlines, but I always wore a poncho because I didn't like the windshield. I love that. Yeah. I think that's really, well, you need the windshield still. No, you're no? fine. Goggles. <laughs> Goggles and a poncho? <laughs> okay. Yeah. 600 miles an hour. They go faster than that, don't they? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm I don't need it. You said it so confidently. 547 to 575. Hey, cool. this guy knows speed. Commercial planes. Yeah. Those are just planes on commercials, though. All right. Yeah, <laughs> they go slower for those. They got to fill them. You know? Slow that thing down. <laughs> How am I ever supposed to get that? What's it going? 600 miles an hour? Give me like more like 547. Jesus, people are never going to know. People are going to wonder if that's even a plane. <laughs> So they shoot commercials, right? Yeah. Come on, give me another take on that big bird. Where are my extras? Now that's how you shoot a commercial for planes, am I right, brothers? <laughs> All right, next section looks like pop here. We got Dua Lipa, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande and Charlie Puth, who has a little shaved part in his eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it at least. Which is a bad look for anyone, unless you are like a badass. Yeah, you have to be badass. Actually, I don't even think badasses look better with it. I'd rather see bushy eyebrows on those freaks. They don't look better, but they can if they want, because what are you gonna say? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What do you think Ariana was looking at to give that face? <laughs> what do you think Justin was looking at? That's what I'm talking about. You he know is I mean? a, such a good husband. Just like. He's a brave little man, too. He's brave? Yeah. Why? For sobering up. I guess. Takes a lot of courage to do that. I mean, brave as anybody. Yeah, but not anybody. He can afford enough cocaine for the rest of his life. And some people sober up because they run out of dough. He could go, ding, 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 and it's Amazon at his door with an uncut kilo of Bam Bam. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that I guess take. access is, is definitely a factor. Yeah. For sure. He doesn't even have to do the sketchy drug deal, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's got Pontius Pilots to go do his bidding for him or whatever. I don't, am what I did, getting No, it? no, what? No? Pontius, uh, Pontius Pilots? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's got multiple bidders. Pontius Pilate was just like a leader who sentenced Jesus to death. <laughs> he wasn't Bieber's coke dealer? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Right. What's up, man? This is Pontius Pilate. <laughs> He's gonna hook us up real nice today. <laughs> All those guys over there? Yeah, no, they're cool, man. Those are the Pharisees. Three, two, one. 
I put Justin, Ariana, Dua, Charlie. I put Ariana, Justin, Dua, Charlie. Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Dua Lipa, and Charlie Puth. Four, the bottom two. Four, four. Good round. Thank you. You know your pop, man. This is kind of like a great game for comebacks. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I, you never really feel out of it. Unless you're down 30. But you're also probably always going to get at least one right. No, nah, that's not true. I guarantee we each get zero at some point. You think so? I think so. You want to make it interesting? I don't think there's any way to make this interesting anymore. <laughs> You know what I mean? I guess. Doesn't it just kind of feel like we've lost the, lost it? You do jumping jack on a skateboard. See, like, I'm sure there's some people out there that are watching right now that they're like, wow, they, that's what they've resorted to is like Graydon doing a rat face. <laughs> Saying that he'll do a jumping jack on a skateboard. It's like physical comedy without actually doing it. Just kind of implying physical, okay. And there is some physical comedy, but. I'm sure there's people out there that would be really excited to see me do a jumping jack on a skateboard. They'd I mean, probably yeah, waiting but for it. there's probably a lot of people who think that the magic is gone. <laughs> oh, it makes my nose itch. <laughs> it still kind of itches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're like itches and tickles. <laughs> How do rats do it all day? All right, next we've got MGMT, Two Door Cinema Club, Arctic Monkeys, and Imagine Dragons. Indie Revival slash Alt Rock? I only know two of these bands. You only know two of these bands? And I'm not telling you. We talked about all four of these bands in a video that we made together. Talked about, yeah. We did. I'm sure, I'm sure we talked about them. Imagine all the, the dragons, dragons rocking <laughs> for the kids. Woohoo! You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not. He's not. He gets too high before he goes to bed. <laughs> yeah. Never dreams about nothing. Dream. <laughs> My REM sleep's messed up. Yeah. Uh -uh. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Light. Losing my pet pigeon. <laughs> Nobody has a pet pigeon. Mike Tyson's got a shit ton of them. Oh, does he really? Yeah, he's got a whole coop. He has a coop of pigeons? Yeah, you didn't you didn't know that? No. Why they would... made a whole show, they made a reality show about him raising his carrier pigeons, and then they made a cartoon where his like sidekicks are pigeons. His whole half of his personality is pigeons. You didn't know this? <laughs> I didn't. This is true. I wish I was making this up. Too. Yeah, it sounds like something you would make up, <laughs> but not... I know it's real because yeah. I had a little flashback of the cartoon. Yeah. I remember there being pigeons in the cartoon, yeah. but I didn't know this was based on real life. Yeah, he's serious about it, man. He loves his pigeons, and he's like, you know, it's like the classic violent guy, but then when he has his little birdie, they coo and caw and like nuzzle up. And he says, good pigeon, and he puts their whole head in his mouth. Yeah. But he doesn't bite. Well, it's no. just warm and safe in there. And that's uh, his, the biggest that's exercise. Yeah, that's growth. That's growth. an exercise in restraint, because mm -hmm. obviously he's, he's a known, biter. He's known for biting. He's a big biter. Yeah. Three, two, one. I put Arctic Monkeys, Imagine Dragons, MGMT, Two Door Cinema Club. Oh, I put Imagine Dragons, MGMT, Arctic, and Two Door. Imagine Dragons, Arctic Monkeys, MGMT, Two Door Cinema Club. <laughs> I got two. Yeah, I got two as well. I thought it was a trick because Arctic Monkeys, I know, has a lot of monthly listeners. And so I thought maybe they had surpassed Imagine Dragons. No one will ever surpass the Dragons. <laughs> I know I'm a little late, but I just started Game of Thrones and boy, I hope I get to see a couple of those suckers. There's no dragons in like the first couple episodes? I don't know if they come at all because apparently they've been extinct for a long time. Oh, see, I haven't seen any Game of Thrones. So yeah. I, mean, I don't have much to contribute here, but I hope you see some dragons too. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Because I think I feel they like, talk about it a lot. I feel I got a feeling. Yeah, I, okay. I got a feeling that one of those little eggs is gonna hatch. Right, Grant? Don't spoil it. All right, next round. We got Usher, T Pain, Trey Songs, and Mary J. Blige. Kind of our R and B category. Yeah, R and B early two thousands. Wow, look at Trey just straight posted. Yeah. <laughs> What's that one song that we love by Mary J. Blige? Fuck, I know the one you're thinking of, and it fucking rips. It's got that that music video, and she's like. <laughs> Just fine, 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 fine. If you were in public and like, let's say someone tried to attack Mary J. Blige and sure. you were like line of defense, mm -hmm. are you stepping in and fighting for her? Absolutely. <laughs> You're a good man. I would do that for a lot of people, but Mary J. Blige is towards the top of that list. <laughs> she deserves to be protected. Yeah. But she is a strong woman. Maybe she could handle it on her own. I understand. She might be offended by me even stepping in because I don't, I mean, who am I, you know? Look at me. Oh, I'm here to protect you, Miss Blige. No, I don't yeah. think so. You know what I mean? Look at me, I'm scrawny. This is me in the back of a Shania Twain show. You ready? That's one cold motherfucker, man. <laughs> She's gonna change Nashville's music forever. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You're getting all you can get from that nicotine, huh? This kiss blew my fucking mind the first time I heard it. Yeah, that's crazy. <sighs> It's a Faith Hill song. <sighs> Shania Twain is a <laughs> cold, <laughs> cold motherfucker, man. It's not Shania Twain. <laughs> that Faith Hill is a cold, cold motherfucker, man. <laughs> also cold, I guess, yeah. Do you know the original lyrics for that song? No. It wasn't called This Kiss. It's, it was called My Kids. Oh, really? Yeah. How'd it go? My kids, my kids. Unbearable. <laughs> it's all about how she hates her kids. She that's the truth, man. That's, yeah, the truth. that's the truth. Yeah. yeah. All right, Riley. Morgan Wallen started making so much money, they're calling him Morgan Wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Usher, Trey Songs, Mary J. Blige, and then T Pain. I put Mary J. Blige, T Pain, Usher, and Trey Songs. It is Usher, T Pain, Mary J. Blige, and Trey Songs. Dang. Only won four ball so far. So you're sticking around, though. That's what they say in basketball. You're hanging around. Kind of yeah, like them right. nasty nuggets. Well, they weren't just hanging around, they swept the Lakers. Close series, though. Whole series was only decided by 24 points. It's true, but still was a sweep. Next one we've got Action Bronson, Earl Sweatshirt, JPEG Mafia, and Danny Brown. Look at Danny, man. He really did that shit for Detroit, man. So we got kind of like left field hip hop, but barely left field. Like I would say like almost center field. The big dogs of left center field. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh God. I've been having this problem recently. I keep throwing up action figures that I haven't eaten. <laughs> What? I know, right? My doctor's just as confused as you are. I keep throwing up action figures. What kind? Like army guys and like skateboard guys and superheroes and Hot Wheels and all sorts of stuff. And I, I throw them up like like I'll burp like that. And then all of a sudden something comes up and it's one of those. But it's not something that I've eaten. I don't even know what to say, man. You're like love bombing me or something. I'm love bombing you? This has nothing to do with you. Quit gaslighting me, hombre. I don't think you know what the word gaslighting means. I don't think you know what love bombing means. And I don't think you should use the word ombre. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Did this I use it right at least? I think you used that one right. Okay. But, well, maybe I don't this know. is a kangaroo court. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not even sure what that one means. I just, it's cool when people say it. What is this, a GD banana republic? Yeah, that's what I was going to mention next. Because that's a store at the mall, but people say it in court sometimes. Yeah, and it feels like the store being like almost colonist chic feels like the whole vibe's racist in there, right? Yeah, right. Banana republic, something about the Chiquita bananas and like the installation of a Fugazi government in South America. I'm not even really sure what half the words you just said are, but um, <laughs> you don't know anything about the throwing up action figures you haven't eaten? No. Like, Unless it has to do with love bombing or gaslighting or a banana republic or a kangaroo court. Those are things I know damn well what they are, hombre. Uh-oh. Three, two, one. Put Earl, Danny, Action Bronson, and JPEG Mafia. I put Earl, Action, Danny, and JPEG. Earl, Danny Brown, JPEG Mafia, Action Bronson. Ah, yeah. close. We got one. I just mixed up Action Bronson and JPEG Mafia there. 9 to 11, and you know what that calls for. <sighs> A 9-11 challenge. Grant, pass me that toy plane. I still think this is an insensitive bit. You Hold know up both mean? your arms, Riley. Play along. What is this, 90s Conan? It's like, I don't think so, man. <laughs> Wait, it takes a while for the jet fuel emits the steel beams. Okay, fine. Oh my god, that fire looks pretty bad up there. I hope another doesn't. Wow! Tell me, man, I don't think this is a good idea, man. All right, now make a pentagon with your hands. Should we scramble the fighter jets, General? <laughs> Besides the people on the plane. All right, Riley, that'll be a field in Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is our plane. You're not going to take this to the White House. <laughs> Wait, where's the black box? Why is nothing left of it? Oh my God. What a terrible day for America. But it ends up uniting us all. And now Grant <laughs> is going to be George W. Bush and he's going to throw out the first pitch at the Yankees' next home game in New York. The place is going to go ballistic. I'm proud to be an American, <laughs> where at least I know <laughs> I'm free. Next we've got Glaive, Eric DOA, Breakins, and Midwest. A lot of hair on these boys. Not gonna get a corporate gig looking like that, am I right, Riley? They don't need corporate gigs, they're all successful artists. I guess you're right. Might as well be a corporate gig. Exactly. The way those labels push and pull and tug and... It's whatever. fucked up. It's 
completely fucked up. It's also fucked up what Justin Trudeau did. Absolutely. We can all agree on that. That's <laughs> fucked up. The Halloween you. shit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah fuck that was a the bad, fuck. bad thing he did. Yeah, you know what else was fucked up? The Astros banging on those the, the cans in the bullpen. To win Dirty the fucking cheaters. You know what I mean? In a game that is supposed to have the utmost integrity. Yeah, America's pastime. You think Babe Ruth put Braille on his bat so he could read the pitcher's mind and then screw his wife or something? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. That would have been, been insane. <laughs> that would have been the opposite of integrity. It would have been fucked up. Yeah, it would have been fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah, you think oh Barry God. Bonds would have injected himself with anabolic steroids just to get a little beefier so he could crank a few more baseballs into the river? Absolutely not. That would have been fucked up. That would have been fucked the fuck up, man. Yeah. Not in my baseball. Not in my baseball. Maybe in the NL. <laughs> Do that over there. Not in the AL. Well, American League. Yeah, the, the Giants are in the NL. <laughs> <laughs> and he did do yeah, a lot he of He did stands. a lot of... Well, no, he didn't. Because that would have been fucked that up. Been fucked yeah, up. That would have been fucked up. That would have been fucked up if he did that. That would have been fucked up. It's kind of our hyper-pop category, although they've all kind of... They've got their own version. They've all taken that different directions. They've all kind of I mean? transcended. Glaive's kind of making rock music now. Breakins, I wouldn't categorize what he's doing as necessarily all the way hyper-pop. Midwest does every genre. Yeah, I don't know which order these fuckers are going to go in either. Pretty sure Eric does full-on country music now. <laughs> are you sad for what? All this bullshit ain't adding up. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Glaive, Midwest, Eric, and then Breakins. I put Glaive, Breakins, Eric, and then Midwest. It is Midwest, Glaive, Eric, and then Breakins. Wow. wow. I had that sneaking suspicion that Midwest would be number one on this. He's you booming. Know? He's doing very, very well. Hey, you heard Midwest new EP? He's doing very well for himself. Just past Glaive on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I did enjoy the new Glaive single. Yeah? It was pretty good, yeah. The video is cool too, and it features a interesting sample of Timothy Chalamet. The actor! Well, what? The, yeah. the really, oh, the really the dashing young man, right? <laughs> yeah. That's, From Lady Bird. Yeah, that's, I just yeah. watched that with my mom. This is like shocking news to you? The actor, Timothy Chalamet, sampled? He was sampled in it, yeah, one of his old auditions. Really? Yeah. I'd love to get my little ears on that. <laughs> yeah, if you can, you can pull it up on. Oh, he is a darling of Hollywood right now. Yeah, it's like you're surprised that I also know who he is. It's like everyone knows. He's dating Kylie Jenner. <laughs> the Kardashian sister? Yeah. Why are you surprised by any of this? This is like insane. The one that has child of Travis Scott, famed rapper from Houston, Texas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is nothing to be surprised about. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet! Yeah. You know what? This might be an unpopular opinion. Okay. That's a cute couple. Yeah, that's unpopular as an opinion, I think. <laughs> it doesn't make, that it is makes a zero cute sense. You know what I mean? They're both thick as shit. <laughs> All right, next one here. We got a uh, country. We got Luke Bryan, Garth Brooks, Carrie Underwood, and Blake Shelton. Oh, yeah. Blake Shelton looks like he's about to sell me something. I can't think of what it is, but he's gonna. And Garth Brooks looks like a cartoon mayor. <laughs> he is awesome. I love GB. Luke Bryan looks AI generated. Or just like stock photo of like guy in shirt. Like you look up guy in shirt and that guy comes up. Luke Bryan, Carrie Underwood, and Blake Shelton got all these photos taken at the same spot on the same day. It looks like just like a line of country music stars to get their press photos. And Garth Garth Brooks looks like he's like the grand opening of Qdoba. <laughs> Name a Garth Brooks song, you fascist. I can't. That's what I thought. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. How many people do you think Carrie Underwood has inspired to... Bust out headlights? Vandalize the car of their cheating asshole piece of shit ex-boyfriends and girlfriends. I tell you what, I hope it's in the millions. God damn. I bet you it's somewhere in the 30s, though. <laughs> In the 30s? Like thir like 30 people? 30 or so people, yeah. I think it's... Direct cool. inspiration, Riley. I bet you people are on Amazon looking up Louisville Slugger. Soon as they find those texts. <laughs> Louisville Slugger sales have gone up since yeah. Carrie dropped that song. <laughs> it's the first time we've talked about a lot of these artists on here. Yeah, that's true. You want to talk about them anymore? Not really. Okay. Three, two, one. Carrie, Luke, Garth, Blake. I put Luke, Carrie, Blake, and Garth. Carrie, Luke, Blake, and Garth. Oh, uh, I got two. I got two as well. I got the top two, you got the bottom two. I've always been more of a bottom. 15 to 12, anybody's game. It is, man. Country girl, shake it for me, girl. Shake it for me, girl. Shake it for me. Now sing it in an Italian accent. A country girl, I shake it for me. God, that's not singing. I don't know, you said <laughs> Italian, what am I supposed to do? You, know? you are going to prison. I'm going to prison? <laughs> Country girl, shake it for me. Huh? 
<laughs> Shake it for me, yeah? Oh, Jesus. Now we got Skrillex, Dead Mouse, Marshmallow, and Zed. You know I know who Marshmallow is? Really? Yeah. Are you allowed to say? No. How'd you figure it out? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Was there a struggle? He didn't seem to care. Or they or she. What was that? He took a lot of pills and passed out, and I took the mask off. Ugly? Hot? Famous? Like, not just for being Marshmallow? <laughs> okay. Do you know who Dead Mouse is? Wait a minute. Why are they showing him? <laughs> Doesn't he always wear a mask, too? No, he's not a secret anymore. He's not a secret. Oh, okay. Cats out of the bag chase the mouse away. What? <laughs> the mouse. <laughs> cat and mouse is a thing. Yeah, the mouse is to, dead to because of the cat's out of the bag? Precisely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, I guess. Why was a cat ever in the bag? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. At what point in time cats was it out of the bag? Yeah, I don't know. So common that there's bags of cats <laughs> that a saying emerges that's the like cats out of the bag. Oh, let his cat slip out of his bag. You shouldn't keep a cat in a bag. Fuck no, it seems cruel. Yeah, cat in a cage, I guess. If you have if to, you if have you're to traveling, traveling, yeah, yeah totally. Zed, baby. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? That's not him singing though, that's Marin Morris. The singer! Yeah, that song is fucking good, and I, I always said that I hated it, and then I came clean about how I loved it instead. I'll take this opportunity to come clean about something too. Sure, go ahead. Jimmy Kimmel is Marshmallow. Three, two, one. Put Marshmallow, Skrillex, Zed, Dead Mouse. I put Skrillex, Marshmallow, Zed, and Dead Mouse. It's Marshmallow, Skrillex, Zed, and Dead Mouse. Four ball, Riley. Oh. Half an eight ball. Wow. For cheap, too. Free, honestly. Yeah. 1914, great year. Was it? Pretty sure World War I was kind of in full swing. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it would be a great year. Depends who you were. My family had a great year. Jesus, man. Ohio State won the national championship. We went on that trip to the Poconos. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of like different stuff going on for different people. Trench warfare for a lot of them. Sure. Mustard so. gas. Yeah, whatever. That's up to that. So that's what other people were dealing with. Me yeah. and my family. I mean, we were we were doing really, really, really <laughs> well. Next category, we're going to rage. We got Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, So Fago, and Autumn. A lot of hair on these fellas. Everybody's got hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. Well, okay. Steve Wilkos doesn't have hair, Riley. Yeah, no, that's my fault. That's my fault. I'm destroy lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I have nobody. <laughs> it reminds me, I saw an old man do a Frankie Valley at karaoke. Okay. And they literally called him Billy Valley. Like that's what he wrote his name on the karaoke card for. And he went up and killed that motherfucker. Oh, did he? He said, Sherry, Sherry, baby, Sherry. He fucking killed that shit, man. Shout out that old guy. I like that new plug and B. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. Made you... me want to push weight. I'm sure it does. Three, two, one. I put Destroy Lonely, Sofago, Ken Carson, and Autumn. I put Lonely, Ken, Autumn, and Sofago. It is Destroy Lonely, Ken Carson, Sofago, and then Autumn. Man. Oh, you were so close. There's a genre you want to see us do this with. Yes, please. Comment suggest it. it. Comment it down below. I feel like it's fun to be able to talk about. Well, we haven't. We've been mostly talking about bullshit, but <laughs> we can yeah. also talk about different genres. You know, that's kind of the fun of it. Yeah. All right. This one we've got some emo revival stuff. We've got Citizen, Title Fight, Modern Baseball, and Tiger's Jaw. I don't fucking know, man. Yeah. Some of them I'm gonna know. Some of them you're gonna know. When it gets to like old folk music and jazz and neo soul. I might as well take a nap in the chair. <laughs> Citizen from Toledo, Ohio. Fantastic band. 10 year anniversary of youth. A formative record. Really, really good. Title Fight. Inactive right now, but legendary. Modern Baseball. Inactive right now, but legendary. Tiger's Jaw. Former band of Wicca Face Springs Eternal. So true. But then he left the band and uh, Ben and Brianna are still doing it. And you had a poster in our former house in Cincinnati of Tiger's Jaw. It was a big flag. Actually, yeah, it was a flag. Run for Cover Records. Tiger's Jaw also does a great cover of the Fleetwood Mac song. Baby Got Back. <laughs> That song by Fleetwood Mac, covered by Tiger's Jaw, used as the theme song for Tuesdays with Tay, Run For Cover's web series. A lot of facts you're throwing at us, Riley. Well, this is kind of like, this is my- uh, Wheelhouse. This is like, was my wheelhouse in the early 2010s. I used to write for The Alternative. People know, shout out The Alternative. Three, two, one. Put Modern Baseball, Title Fight, Citizen, Tiger's Jaw. I put Modern Baseball, Citizen, Title Fight, Tiger's Jaw. It is Modern Baseball, Title Fight, Citizen, and Tiger's Jaw. Nice. Boom. I got two, though. Baseball's America's sport. 
So that's <laughs> yeah. kind of my favorite. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think they just have like the biggest song yeah. of all of them. Your graduation. It's just like a song that no matter what, they're gonna be, have like more monthly listeners on Spotify. That reminds me. Hmm. You remember like maybe you just graduated high school or whatever, and you go into your friends' graduation parties. Yeah. That like little run of parties. If you just graduated high school and you're going into the summer and you're sitting around and you're thinking, nah, maybe I'm not gonna go to Mitch. Mitchell's grad party. Uh -huh. Just go. 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 Just you don't know what's gonna happen. And she'd really appreciate it if you went. The appetizers. Mm -hmm. Buku. You, yeah, you just get like a bunch of little foods. Yes. A bunch of little drinks so sure. you have to hide from the parents. Or you whatever. gotta do a little chit chat with the parents. Which is a bummer. Everybody S fucking Someone's hates gonna that. come over way too firm of a handshake and be like, where are you going to college? <laughs> state! I'm going to state! <laughs> That's a good school! But then afterwards, sometimes you get to, you know, shenanigans yeah. is all I'm saying. Yeah, uh -huh. Street across the football field one last time, you know what I mean? Drink 16 Bud Light Platinums and Fuck. accidentally get arrested. Yeah. Ruin your college prospects with yes, one, sir. one fun night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what that's what it's all about. Set off a bottle rocket and a toe firky. What now? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? A bottle rocket inside of a toe firky? Sure. You could launch a bottle rocket and next thing you know it ends up... <laughs> In the tofurkey. That's Seems a tofu fun. turkey. Yeah. I, why do they have a tofurkey at a Tons graduation party? That's how my grad party went. Tons of tofurkeys. Little ones. Almost. How would you say it? Uh, Teacup tofurkeys? No, I'm trying to combine tofu and Cornish game hen, and I'm having a bit of a problem. That makes sense, because that's... To furnish game hen. <laughs> yeah, not good. We gave out tor furnish game hens. Tor furnish? Torn. Oh. Like corn. <laughs> Torn furnished game hens. Ha <laughs> <laughs> it's getting harder. Yeah. yeah. No, thanks. Okay. You want to talk about butt rock? Yeah, we got some butt rock here. We got <laughs> Hinder, Shine Down, Three Days Grace, and Breaking Benjamin. Wow. Breaking Benjamin Lasky. We broke him, kind of reined him into society. He was a bit of a stallion when we met him. <laughs> Breaking, Benjamin Lasky found shit pissed drunk inside Kalahari. Drinking the water out of the wave pool. Man. Would you want to go to Kalahari? With you or in general? There are different answers. <laughs> in general. Yes. Okay. So that now you lets, know, yeah, yeah, that lets me know the other one. They should have a happy hour at Kalahari. I don't think there's been a happy hour at Kalahari <laughs> in like 15 years. <laughs> that is a sad vacation spot. It sure is. It's off the highway. Yeah. Any vacation spot that has a highway exit. Honey, do you want to go to Sandusky, Ohio? <laughs> Look at all these dudes, though. Just a bunch of white dudes. Just guys. Breaking Benjamin looks like they're on the cover of Twilight 2. I was going to say, it looks exactly like Twilight. It looks like John Mayer did, doing... Twilight. Honey, why are you calling me so late? Three, two, one. Put Breaking Benjamin, Shine Down, Three Days Grace, and Hinder. I put Shine Down, Three Days Grace, Hinder, and Breaking Benjamin. This is Three Days Grace, Breaking Benjamin, Shine Down, and Hinder. I didn't get a damn one. <laughs> I got one. I got skunked. I knew it would happen. Yeah. It was going right. to happen to one of us. Especially with Butt Rock. We're not really keeping up on what's going on with Spotify monthly listeners and Butt Rock fans. Pardon me, guys. Yeah. I got the Butt Rock question wrong. <laughs> Last one, we got Shoegaze. So we got My Bloody Valentine, Ride, Swerve Driver, and Slow Dive. No one really catered to me in this game. I just want to point that out. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it in the next one. Yeah, that'd mm -hmm. be nice. Yeah. I don't, I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. Never heard of Swerve Driver. <laughs> well, that's fair. I mean, I think there's probably a lot of people watching who've never heard of Swerve Driver either. I've been getting into My Bloody Valentine and Slow Dive. Uh-huh. I'm a fan. You love Ride. Really? Ride's more up your alley than those two bands. Okay, how so? Yeah. Um, their second album, I don't know if it's their second, but after the one after their big album called Going Blank Again is like shoegaze, but very influenced by like the Beatles and other 70s rock stuff. Whoa, okay. And it's super crazy, like psych shoegaze. I'm gonna write myself a note to listen to it later. You could, you have a phone. Album after the big one? And it's called Going Blank Again. After the big one. Okay, yeah. This is tough. You have a phone with like a notes app. You could literally screenshot it on Spotify. Like, I don't know how to use that. This is much easier for me to remember it. And if anybody sees me with this on my arm, they'll be like, oh, I love that album. Nobody's going to nobody's gonna say that. It's very difficult to read. This would actually be a sick tattoo. <laughs> I don't think it would, man. Yeah. I'm going to go directly to the parlor after this and get it inked in me. Permanently. It's funny to say go to directly to the parlor. <laughs> I'm going to the parlor. I know it's a tattoo parlor, but in my head I was like, what do you mean you're going like the parlor? Parlor's awesome. I love a parlor game. I love parlor the app. Finally, some free speech. What's on there? Just Republicans mostly. Fuck yeah. Three, two, one. Put slow dive, my bloody Valentine, ride, and then swerve driver. I put my bloody Valentine, slow dive, ride, and swerve driver. 
It is Slow Dive, My Bloody Valentine, Ride and Swerve Driver. You ended hot. 30 to 20. Hey, at least that's a clean, even score right that's there. That's nice. nice. I like Good, that. Yeah. yeah. That was a Spotify monthly listener genre edition. If you guys want us to play this game again, let us know. And comment some genres you want us to talk about. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all this blah, 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 and grade when you like to leave one of the people with some advice to leave or live their lives by. The first and simplest emotion we discover in the human mind is curiosity. All right, this has been High Mind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. I am destroy lonely. You call that a ballerina? Just go, just, just go. Just, 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 just. It's really good to hear your voice. Saying my name, it sounds so sweet. Shaking my hips like an angel.